Hey okay, guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. And I noticed my last tutorial video was actually quite successful. So I'm gonna hit you guys up with another free uh, desktop cleaner upper. I, I don't know how to describe it. So if you've ever seen people and their desktops are super organized, they might have used this program. And it is called Tag Offenses. I swear to God, Origin. Alright, after that's done. So basically, it, it organizes your desktop for you. And I find that pretty cool. I've gotten a lot of complaints of people claiming that the last download was a virus. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. Also, just a quick note. Uh, make sure you guys do have a folder containing all this stuff. Because basically, what this program does is it shortcuts my games folder into something like that. But I do have to physically go into my game folder, control A and drag and drop. So yeah so what you want to do is obviously go to google chrome or whatever browser you're watching the video on click the link in the description and it should bring you to a page just like this um if you want all the details are right here all the specs right here you see the author date size license uh, also the window versions uh it shows you when the program was published so fairly recently obviously what you want to do is you want to click this download button I click this now it auto downloads for you but give it five seconds or so yep uh, it says this file can harm your computer it doesn't so just click keep now if it doesn't download for you in five seconds you just click this button right here and it'll download for you so you just want to click on this all right so I'm back um, my keyboard is gonna be like stupid a rate so I'm gonna try not to use it so the OBS was being a little slow and decided not to record the second half. So the download part is going to be a little cut out, but just follow it. And there's no like free bloatware, like a McAfee launcher. So basically what I covered is the program is hidden in your tray, just like lively. You can go to fence settings, which have all these. I'm only going to explain the general settings because these are most important. So automatically open when Windows starts, that's obvious. Uh, hide desktop icons on start. That's so basically what that is, is it'll hide these things, you know. But uh, if you want them shown like I have them, then uh, don't take that. Uh, key fence shortcut synchronized, it has its own description. So that's all straightforward, you know, you have the, all this stuff as preferences. Contact the email, email below, and check for update, but this is the latest version, right here, 2.500, and there's help. Please don't come to me with your questions. I'm not trying to be mean, it's just I don't know how to a answer them, so I have to make some awkward excuse. So just don't do that, please. Um, but... To make a new fence, uh, just wanna click, right click, and add new fence. So you can shave it, so if you want it to be like your whole screen, somehow replace your desktop, you could do that. That would be kinda cool. You could scroll down and everything, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna have a normal one. A normal fence, someone would have. Yeah, say so someone wants this. So, uh, as you guys can see, I have test, which I'm showing off all those features. So we're just gonna call this one test one and whatever I just pressed. So basically, these act as an extension to a folder. I don't know if I said this in the beginning because I recorded it like 20 minutes ago. So. These are an extension, so you want to get a separate folder. I think I mentioned it in the beginning. Um, so you just drag and drop an icon. It just creates a shortcut of it. So the settings basically are you want to right click on the header. Uh, you can sort by name. So if you had more than one, like say this, you can sort by name. So uTorrent. That must be a foreign letter, but AMD, Audacity, and their vast, it's alphabetical. 
so you can change the color so if I want the back so if I want the back to be like a red goodness I hate this value I could make it be red uh, alpha changes its transparency and value changes its thing on the slider as you can see but you can also change the title color so if you want games to be a yellow test to be a yellow could be and if you want downloads and misc to be pink you can have that so yeah you can also delete friends and a little thing I found which bugged me is when you go to this blue box thing uh, it'll do this don't click add friends just click out of it uh, yep. And if you do want to do that in Advent, you can always do that. So, yeah, I think that's like a wrap. Quicker than I expected.